Oh, that doesn't look too good. Let's uh, clean up this table here a little bit. So I'm gonna take my sales values and I'm gonna change the number formatting. It's already a decimal number, uh, but we can put in thousand separators. And let's also decrease the number of decimals. So let's maybe get rid of them entirely. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Now I want to show my values in millions. So let's go to formatting and huh, there's nothing there. Do I need to create a new measure and then divide my values by a million? That must be a better way. What was it again? Um, custom format strings. Let's have a look. Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if this is the very first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all of our short videos, general overview videos, and Power BI challenges. And let's fix that table from before and show our values exactly in the way that we want them to show on our report pages. All right, so this can be done with custom format strings. And it all starts here on the left hand side in the modeling view, okay? Then you select the field that you want to change the formatting of. No, for me, that's the sales. You open the properties pane and then you just slide all the way down to the formatting section. Now here you have, first of all, the data type, decimal number, that's fine. And then where it gets interesting is here in the format. Now, first of all, you have all of the general formatting options, right? So general currencies, date time, decimal, whole number, but then all the way at the bottom, you also have the option to choose custom. Okay, so here we can use custom formatting strings. Now custom formatting strings might ring a bell. If you worked intensively already with Excel, then I'm pretty sure that you have seen it before. Now, let me just jump to Excel. Also in Excel, if you want to change the number formatting, you just right click, go to format cells, and then you have all of these different categories that you can choose from, number, currency accounting, and custom. Now, if you're already familiar with these custom formatting codes, then you can use most of them in Power BI as well, okay? But I will give you a quick overview of the main things that you need to know to understand uh, what these codes exactly mean. All right, so let's jump back to Power BI. And here in the formatting properties for my sales values, I can type in my custom format. Now, let me first type in the formatting code and then I'm gonna explain exactly how it works, okay? so. Here we have a number format sign, then we wanted to have the millions, and we wanted to have one decimal. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my report view. Boom, we solved it. Okay, so I did not have to create a second measure that takes my sales values and divides them by a million. I can just solve it with custom formatting strings. Okay, so that looked easy. However, these formatting codes, how do they work exactly? Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna start off over here with the first thing that you need to know. When to use a number sign and when to put in a zero. Now let's have a look at different formatting strings. The main thing that you need to understand when it comes to custom formatting strings for values is the difference between the two main digit placeholders. And that is either a zero or a number sign. Now with a number sign, that's basically a digit placeholder. So that means it shows the digit when there is one, and otherwise nothing. And a zero would show a zero, okay? So that means with the number sign, you do not have any leading or trailing zeros. And with the zeros, you would. Let's see an example of this. So if we take 0 0.12 and we have as our custom formatting code, the number sign, dot number sign, number sign, then, well, we do not have the leading zero but we just have the period one, two. Now let's then also take an example where we have the zeros in a formatting string, so 0, 0.0. Now, then we do have a leading zero in front of the decimal separator, but here in the end, we do not have the two. And that is because I only wanted to have one digit, and therefore I placed one zero behind the decimal separator. So basically it rounds it then down uh, to one decimal. Okay, so if I want to have two, then just type in 0 0.00. Now if we take as our formatting string 0 
period, number sign, number sign, then trailing zeros, they wouldn't show up. Okay, so therefore 0 0.40 shows up as 0 0.4. Okay, if the value would be 0 0.42, well then it would show the second one right? because we have two digit placeholders there. But it only shows when it needs to show. Then for percentages, we can also put in a percentage sign. What it does then is multiplies the number by 100 and put it in the percentage where you put in the percentage in the formatting string. And what about the thousand separator? Well, this of course is only relevant when you have values with four or more digits and you can define it also in your custom formatting string just by putting in a comma and surrounding it with either the number, sign or zeros. Okay, so now that we understand how that works, let's have a look at some interesting examples. How can we, for example, scale our values? How can we show our values in thousands or millions or maybe billions? We just have to make a tiny change to the formatting string. And let's take, for example, the value 1,234,567.12. Now I wanna show that value in thousands, okay? Now to do this, I just need to make a very small change to the formatting strings that we were building before. Now here, the beginning part is the same. We have a number sign, comma, number sign, number sign, zero. Okay, so it has a thousand separators and then an extra comma. That is the important one because that's the comma in front of the place where normally the decimal separator would be, okay? And if you have one of those, then it gets rid of three zeros and rounds it to the appropriate amount. Okay, now if you also wanna put a K behind it, well, just type in K, that's it. Now here, I typed it again. However, you see, I put in also the decimal separator, the dot, right? So you see, it's right, right in front of it. Now, what if we wanna show the millions? Easy, just put in two of these commas there. And then it gets rid of six zeros, then you have your millions. So what about billions? Same story, just put in three of these commas. All right, so we now know how to scale our values. What about negative values and zeros? If we just define one formatting string, then they are formatted in a similar way as the positive values, okay? However, we do have the option to add a second formatting string. And this you can do with a semicolon. If we put in one semicolon and then a second formatting string, that second formatting string is for the negative values. And if we do that again, the third part is for the zeros. Now let's see this in practice. So here we have a negative value. Then I have as my custom formatting string over here the pound sign, comma, pound sign, pound sign, zero. Then the semicolon, and then basically the same thing, but in between brackets. Okay, so the negative value should then show in brackets. Can you see? It does. Okay, now what if I would just put in quotation mark, quotation mark? Then negative values don't show at all. Okay, so you just make them disappear. And what about the zeros? Well, then we need to add a third part. So here we have another semicolon. Then I say here hyphen, zero, hyphen. Okay, so the zeros should have should be, it should be between these minus signs. You see, it also works. Now, what if I just wanna type zero? Well, just put it in between quotation marks and whenever we have a zero, it shows zeros. So you see these formatting strings, they look a bit overwhelming at the beginning. However, once you know what everything means, it's actually really simple. Now, let's have a look at another example and how we can add text using the formatting strings. Okay, so actually, we already have seen one example uh, where we added the K or the M for thousands and millions. Now, what if you are showing, let's say, a multiple and you want to show an X right after it, then you just add a little X in between quotation marks inside of your formatting string. Okay, now same for currencies. You can put in a euro sign or a dollar sign right in front or after it, wherever you want it, uh, want it to be. And what if I want to show euro to US dollars? Same thing, just put your text in between quotation marks, then the number of formatting just works as before, and that's it. 
Another nice application for these custom formatting strings are for phone numbers or uh, social security numbers. And if you want to make them more readable, well, custom formatting strings, right? So you just place the spaces wherever you want to have the spaces and the separators wherever you want them to be. Now, so let's say I want to put in a plus sign right in front of the country code and brackets around it. Well, then I can do an opening bracket plus and then zero zero closing bracket and then my spaces and zeros and hyphens then one more important category and that is for date and time okay now let's start with dates now for dates it's just about the number of d's m's and y's that's basically it okay so if i have four m's that then it would write out the full name of the month okay if i just have three then you have the abbreviated form two well, then you have just two digits. So then you have the number with leading zeros. And if you only have one M, then you just have the number without leading zeros. Okay. And similar for the, uh, the days and days. Okay. So let's have a look at it. some examples. And so if I type in here, M, 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 full name of the month, hyphen, Y, 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 Y for the full year. Okay. If I just want to show the day, then I can type in D, 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 D. And just basically shows the day and it doesn't show any information about the month or the year okay now what if i want to show the quarters well there's also q that you can use okay so i can type in as my formatting string between quotation marks the q capital then a small q and that shows then one two three or four and then y y y y for the year and what about time same thing okay so here it's about the hours then the minutes and the seconds just know that for the minutes you need an M as a placeholder. So if you put in two times an H, then you have the hours, but with leading zeros. Okay, so if you have a nine o'clock in the morning, then it would show zero nine. Okay, same for the minutes, either one N or two Ns. If you have two Ns, then it shows the leading zero. Then you also have the option to type in five Ds, which shows the time as on your local system. And by the way, you can also do this with Ds. Huh? So if you have five Ds, then it would show the date as on your system. Okay, so the full date. What about AM, PM? Just type in AM forward slash PM, either in lowercase or uppercase. As I said at the beginning, custom number formatting works quite similar to what you used to with Excel, right? So a lot of these codes you can just copy paste and from Excel to Power BI will work. However, some don't. For example, if you used ever before, the conditional formatting option within the custom formatting strings and by putting in red or blue, well, that's not gonna work in Power BI. You just need to work with normal conditional formatting. And what about the rules that you could define within the custom formatting strings of Axon? Well, also that doesn't work in Power BI. You just need normal conditional formatting then. I hope that you slowly start to get how it works and that you can start applying it to your reports as well. Now these custom format strings, you can also use within the format function or to apply dynamic number formatting using calculation groups. However, that we will cover in a different video. Now, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you in the next video.